Hello everyone, my name is Heider Martinez and I'm from Bell Gardens High School. And I'm Jennifer Reyes from Bell Gardens High School. Y yo soy Maria Chavez, residente de la ciudad de Bell Gardens. And thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk to you about a new open public space opportunity for Southeast LA communities. The California Assembly has dedicated $2 million for the San Gabriel and Lower Los Angeles Rivers and Mountains Conservatory to create a new park at the old Laguna Nueva school site in the City of Commerce. The project's partners, East Year Communities for Environmental Justice, California 58th Assembly Office, the Moving Forward Network, and the United States Environmental Protection Agency are inviting community members to participate in the planning, development, and design of the site. This is a unique opportunity for you to give us your ideas and vision for this new public open space. Your input will directly shape how this space will be used by you, your family, and your communities. Why are parks important for people, some might ask. Well, parks are spaces that provide health benefits to communities. It's a space where people walk, run, exercise, play, and they promote a more healthy lifestyle. They're also a space where plants and trees provide cleaner air by removing some toxins from the air and by producing oxygen. While we have parks nearby, according to a 2016 LA County Park Needs Assessment, the area around the Laguna Nueva school site is designed to be in moderate to high need of more parks compared to other parts of LA County. So a little bit of background of the Laguna Nova school site is the site is located on 6360 South Garfield Avenue in the City of Commerce near the Gage intersection bordering the City of Bell Gardens. It is 8.4 acres of undeveloped land and 6.3 acres where the school buildings and structures still stand today. Initially from 1943 and 1954, the site used to be a construction waste pit known as the Oro Benedict Dump and other uses for the site have been a salvage yard, a service station, various trucking and construction companies, and a warehouse. In 1986, much of the construction waste was removed from the site and the Laguna Nova School was built in 1992 and ended up completely closing in 2017. In the early 2000s, contaminants were found in the soil. These include volatile organic compounds, chemicals that can both vaporize into the air and dissolve into the water. In response to this, the California Department of Toxic Substances oversaw the cleanup of the site and set up a monitoring system. The monitoring system helps make sure that methane levels are not high enough to become dangerous. Asphalt was then used to cap the landscape areas where the pit used to be to prevent fluids from passing through and prevent exposure to people on site. The monitoring system and asphalt cap are inspected every year. As of today, the current site is owned by Montebello Unified School District and it is currently used as a swap meet on Sundays, Saturdays, and Tuesdays. Otherwise, it remains unused on non-swap meet days. El 3 de marzo se hizo un taller comunitario en la oficina de East Yard. En ese taller, los residentes de la ciudad de Comes y Bell Gardens compartieron sus ideas de qué querían ver en la una nueva. ¿Qué usos necesitan en su comunidad? ¿Qué características quieren en este espacio abierto lo que los haría exitosos? Gracias por ver el video y recuerden que ustedes son los expertos en su comunidad y nos gustaría saber su opinión. Por favor, haga clic en el enlace de abajo para acceder a una breve encuesta para que comparta su visión sobre lo que desea ver en Laguna Nueva. Gracias. Para obtener la información más reciente sobre este proyecto, por favor, contacte a comunidades de East Yard para la justicia ambiental. La información de contacto está en la descripción de abajo. Gracias por su apoyo.